Rick Stone here from the blog OurStonyAcres.com. Welcome to Grow What You Eat, Eat What You Grow, our video series where we talk about all things gardening. This week, we are going to talk about growing corn using the hill method. Okay? So before we get started, make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel. That will keep you up to date on what new videos we're publishing. And I've got a lot coming, so make sure that you subscribe so you know what's coming up. So, growing corn using the hill method. First off, why would we need to grow corn using a, a hill method? Okay, let's talk a little bit about the, the requirements of corn. So, corn is wind pollinated. So, the, you'll see when corn grows, it gets those nice tassels on the top. That's the pollen, and then in the little silt, we call it the silt. That, that's on the end of the ear of the corn that you have to clean off that's such a pain in the neck. Okay, that's the actual female part of the corn plant. And the pollen comes down and gets on the silt, and then the pollen goes down into the kernels and, uh, and, and, and pollinates those kernels. Now, if you've ever seen an ear of corn that has lots of empty spots and funky and you know what I'm talking about, kind of chunky and, and, and not consistent. Uh, that, that ear of corn wasn't properly pollinated and that often is caused by the fact that there weren't enough corn plants around it. Okay, So corn is not self-pollinating, it's wind pollinated and you have to grow corn close to other corn plants so that the pollen from the different plants blow back and forth and, and get on the silt and, and get things pollinated, okay? So the traditional way of doing that is to plant your corn in big blocks or multiple rows. If you're planting it in rows, you need to plant at least three rows or people will plant big blocks of corn. And then that gives plenty of pollen floating around so that the, the ears can get pollinated and, and be taken care of. Well, I have a little garden. I mean, here's a shot of my garden. It's not all that big. I don't have room for a big old block of, of corn or even a row, you know, multiple rows of corn. I just don't have room. And so we actually learned about this, this growing method for corn. I learned about it about eight years ago and I told my in-laws about it. And they were like, oh wow, because they have a smaller garden even than we do. We're going to try that. And so they tried it. And so for a couple of years, they were the ones that were doing the experiment. And, and the way you plant corn in hills is you just, you know, you just, it, it, the hill is not really a hill. It doesn't have to be. I, I actually make it a hill because I want it to kind of be separate and so I remember where it's at. Um, but you just, you're going to plant in about an 18 inch space, you're going to plant seven or eight corn seeds in that space. And then you can plant these little hills all over your garden, anywhere you, where you've got some space. We happen to have a fence that is on the east side of our garden that doesn't is kind of was just a pathway but it was a little extra wide a little wider than i wanted and so we've kind of created these beds along there eventually we've got some kiwi growing there and a few other berries and stuff that'll fill in and we won't be able to use that anymore but we you know we can stick those corn hills anywhere just here and there around the garden and if you have seven or eight seeds and they all come up close together and a minimum of five uh, come up then they're all there in this little block and they pollinate each other and they just do great. Okay, so we use this method for popcorn because we have another place, we have a second garden that someday I'll show you guys where, we can, where we've got a big bulk spot where we can grow uh, sweet corn. But you can't grow sweet corn and popcorn together. And so here at home, we grow popcorn in these little hills and we plant, most years we plant eight to ten every once in a while twelve little hills of popcorn around in our yard and that gives us a lot of corn you know if you figure even you know if there's six or seven in each hill that survive and there's two ears on each maybe even three ears on each that ends up being a lot of corn just in you know that little bit of space we end up with some years as much as a hundred to 120 ears of popcorn which you know ends up being seven or eight quarts of popcorn usually lasts us we like popcorn but it will usually last us most of the winter so this is a great way to just kind of sneak some corn in if you if you're not interested in having this giant patch of corn where you're going to end up having you know eight like 200 ears of corn uh, you just want to have 
a taste. You know, you want to have some corn to barbecue or, you know, something like that in, in the middle of the summer. This is just a perfect way to do it. You can tuck three or four uh, different hills of corn in your garden, just in corners or outside spots or a spot where your tomato plant died or, you know, whatever. Just stick them in there and, and, and grow them. And they, they do fantastic. And it's a great way to grow a little bit of corn and still get it to pollinate correctly. So this is an awesome, awesome method. We've been using it in our own garden now for six years. And like I say, my in-laws are about their eighth year of doing it. And it, and it works great. It, it gives you just enough, you know, corn. My in-laws maybe get, you know, 20 or 30 ears of corn a summer, which is perfect for the two of them. Just, you know, just great. So perfect method, great way to do it. If you want to learn a little bit more about it, there's a link right here that'll take you to a blog post on my blog that will actually show you a little bit more about uh, the method and some more pictures and stuff like that. But this is a great way. So that's it for this week. Hope you enjoyed this. We will have more courses coming up. So make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you get a notification when we have more videos come up. Also, if you would, please like uh, these videos and then comment down below. I'd love to have you comment. This week, I'd love to find out how many of you actually grow popcorn. We love growing popcorn. We've been doing it for about eight years now. And, uh, but not a lot of people grow popcorn. And so I would love to hear about your popcorn experience. So leave some comments on popcorn and, and, and any questions that you might have about growing with the Hill Method. So leave those comments down there. All right, so that's it for this week. Also, don't forget premium courses. We have our premium video courses, which uh, are not your average YouTube tutorials. They're long courses, hour and a half to five and a half hours long, depending on the course. Yeah, you have to pay for those, of course, but if you click right through here, uh, that will take you to uh, our blog and uh, give you some more information. And also, you'll get a little bit of a discount as well if you uh, click through as a YouTube subscriber. So, all right, that's it for this week. Hope you enjoyed the course. Come back again, and happy gardening.